Okay, we're going to pick up again. My apologies, the last video got cut off. Um, so we were talking about making rolling credits. So I'm in the titles editing mode. And I'm going to switch over right here. So um, right now I don't have anything um, on my playhead. So, whoops. Actually, let's start from scratch. I don't want that guy. So I'm going to come down here. Ended up with some junk text. And I'm going to select that guy and hit delete. And so here I'm going to go over to title. And I'm going to start with this little guy right here. It says new title based on current title. So select there. And what it's going to do is it's going to read the video settings. So this sequence, this is our resolution. This is our, um, it says time based, but this is our, uh, uh, our frame rate that it's reading and our pixel aspect ratio. And I'm going to name this rolling credit and say, okay. And now the next thing I'm going to move this down here because I actually, we're going to make this at the end and so down here, I'm going to go back to title rolling credit. So it flips me back over to program. So I'm going to go back to title and I'm going to select this button right here and it's going to say title type. Now by default, it's going to make a still title. And then I have some options. I can select roll or crawl left. Crawl left means it, it's like a ticker. It goes and rolls that way. And then crawl right does the exact opposite. And let's go to, we're going to make a rolling credit. And then it's going to ask, do you want to start off screen and end off screen? And we want to make sure we select yes for both of those because to, to a true rolling credit that it, it, we, it starts down below and then it'll play and it'll run all the way through. So we're going to select yes for those. So that's an important one. Okay. And now we're going to start typing in our text of what we want to say. So I would say uh, the title of projects, I would say Greyhounds and I'm going to enter. And I would say then directed by smooth and then down a couple more and I would say edited by and I'll put my name and I would say and you would just list whoever is involved it may just be a couple people special thanks um, let's see what was the name of that rescue group I can't remember the name let me come over here And I'm just referencing the names. I can't remember. Uh, home stretch. Rescue. Oops, rescue. Okay. And I'm just did a command A to select all. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to center all of these. That that's an aesthetic choice, but I like for these to be centered. And I can come here and I can make some different selections of what type do I want these to be? Do I want it to be italic, bold? Do I want to change the font size for any of these? And I'm actually going to come here and just slide these down and say, and once I choose a size, I want to be consistent. So if that is set at 65, then this should be set at 65. And so, whoops, 64, 65. And scroll down and 65. There we go. And you get the idea of sort of where I'm going with this. And I do not want that. So I hit the delete key. I accidentally made some more text. And that's looking pretty good. If you have any music that you would want to make sure that you're doing your credits for your music here. And just like we've been doing before. And you would do the copyright information. Or if it's the name of your, you know, if you have, later on you have a video editing company. It would be like um, a studio. is called Birdhouse Studios. I think. And that would be the title for that. And then I'm actually going to make that smaller. So it doesn't look too large to me. Let's say 55. And down here, if I would say music, music, and then you would credit music here. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then again, let's make this match. So let's say 65 to be consistent in our font sizes and return. All right. And I've got my bar here on the sides if I need to check anything since this is a rolling credit and I need to see the return so that matches. And let's do one more return there so I'm consistent. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay. And again, you have these tools that you can use here on the side that I can click through these different uh, toolbars. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom that I have... Um, different actions and tools that if I want to center things, I could just use the center button there. Um, any kind of selections 
that you can change the x y position the rotation uh, these are similar these are some more things than than just what's here but there are some different ones like if you wanted to do opacities or drop shadows or any of these other kind of fancy things that you can come in and get creative as you want with all these tools so you have all these other things that are available to you as well okay everything looks good with the rolling credits so the last thing we need to do is we're going to drag and drop it onto the timeline and so when you're making a new title, a new text like this, that you'll see it down here, so the rolling credit. And here we can do like a quick playthrough. And I'm going to select that and drag and drop onto the timeline. So let's do a playthrough here. And if I feel like that is a bit fast, which I think it might be, that I can just extend the play time. And you notice as I extend the, the time that it's going to play, it actually slows it down. And it looks like I lost my directed by text, so I'll need to go back and add that in. But that's how you create a simple uh, rolling credit. And I double click and I get my text back here. And I'm going to come back up here. And it looks like I lost like my directed by text here. Just key that back in. Oops, what happened? Where'd it go? Directed. Hmm. Hmm. Well, whoops. Well, there we go. Sorry, clicking in the wrong space. And select and do sixty five. And return there we go now this should be automatic instant update like that perfect directed by not bad I think that looks very nice and that's how you would do a simple rolling credit so those are the basics of new credits that we've looked at for this type of project so we have the lower thirds uh, how to do a rolling credit and also a fun one that we cover here is how to do a nice track map to start out your project. So that we'll end that here for the how to handle uh, credits for documentaries. And then we're going to switch gears and we're going to talk some about the Ken Burns effect.